Shopping online for office guest chairs can open the door to many different styles and options, but getting the wrong product can be expensive. Knowing the full process can help you avoid these costly mistakes. In today's video, we are going to cover the top seven things you must consider when buying office guest chairs online. Confused about office furniture? BTOD TV is your number one office furniture resource. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Hey guys, Greg with BTOD TV. I've heard it so many times in 15 years in business. Whether you're in a time crunch or your local store doesn't have the selection that you need, cue online shopping. But done incorrectly, this can be a major headache. The first thing you must consider when buying office guest chairs online is lead time. One of the most important things we need to consider when buying guest chairs online is lead time. How much time is required to manufacture and ship the product to our location. Whether you're renovating or new building or potentially just removing old chairs, as long as we think about the worst case scenario, we won't put ourselves in a stressful situation not having furniture for our clients as they enter into our office. If color matching is important to you, you must get fabric and finish samples before placing your order. No two monitors settings are the same and so the color that you see on your monitor is likely to be different than what you get once you order your furniture. It's also important to get those swatches in your space as the lighting can change how they look. If you decide to make a return, this can be expensive and in some cases not possible at all. If you're worried about the quality or the comfort of the chair, we also recommend ordering one piece instead of the entire order so that you can check that in case you decide that it's not up to your liking. Measure and measure again, and understanding your space and how to maximize your seating is extremely important, but not overdoing it is important as well. Mixing and matching different types of chairs with and without arms, benches can also make it nice for your customers to pick the seat that's most comfortable for them. Also understand how the flow of your space works, where the reception desk is, exits, and how people move throughout your office to ensure that they're able to move comfortably while waiting in your space. The durability of your upholstery can make or break the life cycle of the chairs. If you're a high traffic space, we recommend looking at a double rub count of a minimum of 100,000 double rubs. Now to understand what a double rub is, it's essentially getting in and out of the chair. That's considered one double rub. When we look at what the minimum is for commercial grade, it's 25,000, but that number can actually go well into the millions. How comfortable a guest chair is will really depend on the user, but it's important that we set expectations, as most guest chairs will tend to be on the firm side. We have to think about why this is. Guest chairs are designed to hold up into high traffic spaces, and so unfortunately they're not able to use those big soft pillowy cushions that we tend to find on home office furniture. If you're ordering office guest chairs online, you must consider how they're shipped. Now, smaller chairs like the one next to me will typically ship flat pack in a small box, which allows smaller quantities to ship with FedEx or UPS ground. If you're looking at a larger lounge piece of furniture, such as a chair, an office sofa, or maybe a love seat, these are more likely to ship with a freight carrier, which is a semi-truck. Now, if we consider how a semi-truck delivers, typically they'll want to go into a loading dock into your building. Now, if you don't have that, they still can deliver what is called back of truck delivery, meaning you'll actually have to go to the back of the truck and pull the items down. It's highly recommended that you have a little bit of help here. Two people shouldn't have an issue pulling the items down from the truck. But if you want assistance, most carriers will offer at an additional charge what's called a lift gate service, which is essentially a platform on the back of the truck which will lower the items to the ground. Most carriers won't take it beyond that point, so it's important to consider that you'll need to take it beyond that point and into your building. Sometimes they offer inside delivery as well, but this is a fairly bare bones delivery service, meaning they will only bring it inside the threshold of the first floor lobby. They won't bring it up steps and they won't bring it up most elevators. If you want additional services such as a white glove service, this is something that will likely have to be quoted outside the normal inside delivery service. If you're buying office guest chairs online, the last thing that you should consider is the assembly of the furniture. If it's a lounge piece, such as a lounge chair or a sofa, these are likely to ship fully assembled. But if it's smaller pieces, like a single chair here, or even this two chair piece from Lesro, which include wood or metal frames, these will generally ship flat packed. While it doesn't require a level 12 handyman to 
put these together, there might be a bit of elbow grease to complete the assembly. If you're uncomfortable with assembly, there are plenty of services that are available either locally or through a company like BTOD.com where we're able to reach out to a network of installers and quote out what it will cost to have that assembled for you. Buying office guest chairs online doesn't have to be a daunting task, and following our top seven things to consider will help you avoid a costly mistake. Focus on things like budget, your space, and your timeline to ensure a good investment. If you like this video, please help us out and hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. We've got a ton of great content coming out on office furniture. Thanks a lot for watching.